$500 for five dookie braids. Like seven natural hair trends we are leaving behind in 2023. I almost didn't do this video, but I said no. We need to give the people what they want. There are seven. They will get spicier as we go on. And if you get mad, just remember, it's just a YouTube video. Number seven, do we need to pre-poo every single wash? Also deep conditioning. Gone are the days of 10 step hair care routines. We're doing the pre-pooing and then we're washing and then conditioning and then deep conditioning and then hydro. Ciao, I'm tired. My model is now do what absolutely needs to be done. That's it. Assess your hair. If it's extra dry and crispy because you flat ironed it three weeks in a row, yeah, you might need that deep treatment, that pre-poo, that extra nourishment. Yeah, it's fine. But if you consistently take care of your hair, you don't have to necessarily do all of those steps all the time. We can stop. Number six, overusing oil in our hair routines. Now I know, I know some of y'all go hard for the shea butter and the coconut oil. And let me tell you, coconut oil is one of my favorites too, okay? <laughs> but I realized over time that I don't have to use oil in every single hairstyle. Now, if you like the shine and you wanna oil sheen it up, go ahead, but it's not 100% necessary. In fact, I found Quite a few hairstyles that don't necessarily need the oil. Mousse is a great option, especially for wash and goes and twist outs. They don't necessarily need oil, but I do understand the extra sheen that it gives, the slip on the hair strand. Sometimes it's absolutely necessary, but it doesn't necessarily have to be for every hairstyle. By the way, my name is Latoya Ebony. If you like natural hair content or content about hair, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe. Moving on to number five. Beating ourselves up for things that we didn't know. This natural hair space in particular with black hair, it is evolving so rapidly. There's new technology coming out, new products, new ingredients that better nurture our hair. Listen, we cannot beat ourselves up for things that we didn't know. I remember back in the day, people were saying, don't put shampoo on the strands of the hair, only wash the scalp. And I followed that for so many years, it's embarrassing, okay? We learn, we grow, it's okay. Now we're gonna get a little spicier. Number four, extreme gender roles on our hairstyles. Hear me out. God made our hair and it grows. Nobody said that long hair was a girl thing or short hair was a boy thing. And you know what the crazy thing is, right? Have you ever noticed that when boys have long hair, they get made fun of, adults come around saying how they look like a girl, da 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 da. But then wait till that same boy becomes a man with long hair and watch the girls go crazy. It is uh, it is so crazy to me. When does that shift happen? And how come all of a sudden now it's sexy, but when it was a boy, it was a problem. We need to stop. And women, if you choose to cut your hair, do not let it make you insecure. I have seen some of the most beautiful women with short hairstyles. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing, but um, it's giving for me. Number three, overcharging for simple salon hair services. Why am I getting charged so much just for you to wash my hair? Wash it. And the people are fed up. Four, $500 for five dookie braids. Like, I honestly don't know when this like rebranding of like goddess braids and da da da. Listen, okay, they will always be five dookie braids in my mind, I will call it goddess braids for SEO purposes and all of that. But like, when I was a kid, they was dookie braids. <laughs> Gotta stop, I have to stop. Number two, policing other people's hair. I'm, you know what, I'ma talk to the natural hair community. Y'all gotta stop. The comments is getting out of control. I have seen so many people who are natural, who choose to straighten their hair, and the comments are, but you look better with a natural. I wanna see it curly, blah, 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 blah. Like, I mean, y'all, some of y'all are becoming villains. You can be proud of yourself and what you choose to do with your hair without ostracizing someone else for doing something different. I told y'all it was gonna get spicy, but I'm serious, I'm tired of seeing it. I know it's gonna keep happening because it's the internet. But like, I'ma 
bit tired of it. I love my hair. I'm allowed to love my hair. And people with other textures are allowed to love their hair too, even if they alter it. Not my preference 100% of the time, but there's a, this is an alteration. You know what I mean? Like, I find it funny how there are so many different checkpoints and the justifications of what's okay and not okay, they're kind of unspoken. But everybody's altering their hair in some way, shape, or form, unless you are doing like freeform locks. We be big mad too, I don't know. And the relaxed people, y'all already know. Get out, get out my comments if you don't like what you see, okay? Calling my hair nappy or beady or whatever is like not an insult to me, okay? People have been calling my hair nappy since I was a baby. Come harder. Matter of fact, don't come at all because I'm gonna block you. Number one is for the elders, especially. But I know some of us millennials and younger do the same thing. Stop telling black women with new babies that cutting their baby's hair is gonna change the hair texture. And also stop checking the knuckles to see how dark the baby's gonna be in the earlobes. I'm tired. Colorism, texturism is going rampant in our community and I'm like, we need to release ourselves from this. We really do, like it's kind of crazy. But since this is an educational hair channel, let me put you on game. When it comes to the baby's hair texture changing because you cut it, that's a myth. Genetics are a real thing. Listen up. When all babies are born, they have something called neonate hair. That is hair that is a little bit softer, curlier, a little bit less textured and coarse than adult hair. This is mainly because the medulla of the hair strand has not been formed. As a child becomes an adult, their hair is naturally going to get thicker and coarser. Cutting the hair has nothing to do with it. In fact, there are whole cultures in India, for example, that cut and shave the heads of their babies and their hair turns out just like their parents. Why? Because genetics. If my hair is thick and coarse and textured and nappy, and so is my husband's, my child probably is gonna have a similar hair texture. What's another natural hair trend that you want to dye in 2023? And if you missed my last video, I will link it because that one's pretty good as well. So that was it. If you got mad, it's the internet, okay? And this is also my channel. <laughs> I had to give it to y'all this year. I, I know I'm late technically, but what is time? Who said? Let's continue to work on ourselves throughout the year. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Join in in the comments, okay? Bye.